Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Cheese here bringing you some more Go Battle League battles. Today we're spicing up the Holiday Cup Ultra League with a few of uh, one of my favorite Pokemon, Galvantula. Uh, I've been thinking about this team a lot, thinking that based on the meta, uh, it should do well. Uh, if you have a look at the Holiday Cup, the meta is, is quite vague, if I can say. You see the same Pokemons over and over and over again. So I thought of this team and thought, look, if, if, if it works out, um, it actually will do pretty well and I must say I was quite shocked with the, with the result. The team I'm running is Alola Ninetales with Charm, Weather Ball, Side Shock. I got a safe swap of Galvantula with Vault Switch, Lunge and Cross Poison. I chose Cross Poison because in case of this Alola Ninetales as well as Pharisians, I could at least hit those for super effective. And then I got a closer which is my Magnazone having Spark. Um, mirror shot as well as wild charge i was actually debating if i should change mirror shot to maybe be a flash cannon i think it would surprise the opponents more but let's jump into those battles in the first battle we have oh and there's a phone call i had to cut uh, apologies for that in the first battle we have a little nine tilt against uh Jellison. you see i have actually missed a few moves there because as i got in he was already throwing i know still the first one he goes for the bubble beam he switches out into obstagoon i'm gonna throw this cross poison hoping to at least get a boost here which i don't manage to get gonna throw the lunge immediately to debuff the obstagoon this also does super effective uh opponent's now gonna throw a charge move now that he's debuff i don't need to shield anything on my side it's not gonna do much damage he gets an attack boost on his side i'm going to throw this lunge immediately before he gets to the next nice let's see if he does shield he actually does shield it i'm happy with that i've got shield advantage i'm going to no shield this he takes me out i'm going to now come in to my alola nine tail should be able to now charm down which i do he's going to now come back with his jellicent i'm going to continue to farm here and allow him to throw i no shield this on my side and he throws the bubble beam bait very well uh no shield on my side i switch nine to my magna zone now he's going to throw another charge move the opponent and now shield and he manages to throw the shadow ball and i get another call there from my auntie which i had to cut the call i do apologize for that and the opponent concedes after that ggs next battle we have talent flame against roller nine tails i switch out into my galvanic list i'm doing super effective with the vault switches talent flame does destroy this team uh, but i think what the, the vault switch has, does quite well but i haven't seen much talent flames around he's gonna not throw a flame charge i shield on my side i'm gonna go for this cross poison which the opponent shields and i get the boost let's go uh, let's see if i can get to this cross poison and i just managed to get the cross poison before the talent flame takes me out now winning switch advantage is key he now comes in with a chestnut i can now safely come in here with my lola nine tails and at least deal super effective with these charms he's gonna throw a charge move i know this is gonna be the superpower but i don't need to shield it opponent now switches out into a charizard this is lovely he's got no shields i can now shield the first charge move hoping to beat blast burn and it is the blast burn very good call on my side i'm going to continue to over farm now i'm going straight for this wild charge this should one shot the charizard from this range i'm going to now throw the murder shot hoping to at least get a debuff Let's see if I manage to do get a debuff and I don't get a debuff. I'm going to now go ahead for another murder shot. Let's hope I can get a debuff with this one here. And I also don't get the, the debuff from the murder shot. Seems like uh, luck has been avoiding me. Going to throw the third murder shot on my side. Let's see if I do get a debuff. And I still don't manage to get the debuff on my side. It is a CMP tie. He throws his energy ball. Doesn't take me out. I can switch into my Alola nine tails and then get one charm through. Whatever he throws, I don't think it's going to KO me. And that should be GG's very well played. Jumping into the next battle, we have Alola Ninetales against Pharisian. That's a good lead for me. He switches out into his Auroras. I got a perfect answer for Auroras. Gonna go straight for this murder shot. This is dealing super effective to him. Let's see if I do get a debuff. I don't get the debuff again. Whatever the Auroras does throw is not super effective for me, so I don't need to shield, but that's a decent amount of damage. I'm gonna continue to over farm. Opponent now throwing a charge move. I know this is going to be the weather ball. I know shield it. Gonna continue to over farm, trying to leave very little health on my magna zone for when his pharisian comes in i throw then the murder shot he no shield it comes into pharisian i can come in now with my lola nine tails he switches out now into a wall rain this is looking good for galvantula as galvantula is doing super effective with his wall switches i go for the lunge bait on my side he no shield it he's gonna now throw a charge move is the icicle spear after the debuff doesn't do much damage to me I'm now going to look to shield this one and then completely farm down. Can I do it before he gets the next move? And I manage to farm down. Going to throw the lunge immediately to debuff the Pharisian. Let's see if he does shield on his side. He no shield it. I'm going to now throw the cross poison 
this would deal super effective to it let's see if he does shield it he knows shields are going straight into my alola nine tails i'm gonna charm down this for him before he can do anything one stone age won't do nothing because he is already debuffed gg is very well played Jumping to the next battle, Alola Ninetales Murder. Opponent now switches out into a Snorlax. Not sure why he decided to switch out. Maybe possibly could have something else that that's weak to so one of my Pokemon's in the back. He throws a body slam. I'm gonna shield the first one. I'm gonna now throw the lunge to debuff it so that I don't have to shield the next charge move. Opponent no shields on his side. I'm gonna get one ball switch through, which they then throws his body slam. I no shield us, doesn't do much damage. Gonna continue to farm. Think he could have farmed down, but lucky I threw the cross poison. I think he would have gotten to another bo body slam on his side. Opponent no shield that he comes in with his Alola Night Hills. I wanna throw this cross poison. It is gonna do super effective to the Alola Night Hills. Doesn't do much. Chunks it slightly. I can now get proper alignment. Have the Magna Zone on the Alola Night Hills. He comes in with an Ampharos. I throw a Murder Shot, hoping for the debuff. And yet again, no debuff on my side. Gonna throw the weather ball. Let's see if the opponent does shield it. And the opponent does shield it. He's now gonna throw a charge move. He has built up for the focus blast, but I'm not gonna shield on my side, which ends up being a thunder punch. He's gonna throw two vault switches and now throws another charge move. I'm here debating whether I should shield and farm down. I know shield it on my side. I'm gonna rely on my magnezone to close this game out. Opponent now throws a charge move. I'm gonna shield in case it is maybe the brutal swing or focus blast. The alone nine tails can't do nothing on his side to me, so. The Brutal Swing Focus Blast will do the most damage to my Magna Zone. He now tries to catch on. He said, I continue to farm to two murder shots. Gonna throw the first one. This should take out the Alola Ninetales. And I'm actually one shot for the next one, which I managed to get before he does. And this should take out then the Ampharos. Should be GG's. Very well played. Jumping into the next battle, we have Alola Ninetales against Giratina. This is where you want to see Giratina. And it's a Dragon Breath Giratina. That's actually lovely. Opponent doesn't switch out. Guessing he's got something weak to Alola Ninetales on his side. He's gonna throw the charge move, use the ancient power, and the opponent gets the boost. I'm gonna throw the weather ball immediately to try and chunk the health of it. He no shields it on his side. I'm gonna see if I can quickly charm down. He manages to get to another charge move. If this is the ancient power, it will take me out. I shield it actually a dragon claw. He switches now into a lowland graveler. He actually does have for resin in the back. Gonna go straight for the lunge to debuff it. He no shields on his side. Gonna continue to farm. I throw the cross poison as mo the moment I get it. They want to get hit with a stone edge before he throws the move. He now throws his charge move so very well of me throwing the cross poison there. It is the stone edge. Doesn't take me out. Gonna continue to farm. But the opponent now throws his charge move. This sacred sword should take out Galvantula. I can now come in with my Alola nine tails and farm down. I go straight into my Magna Zone. He's dealing not very super effective, but his fast moves as well as his charge moves. Gonna go for a murder shot. Do I get a debuff? I don't get a debuff on my side. The opponent now throws a charge move. Let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be the Stone Edge. Does, does a decent amount of damage to the Magna Zone. Gonna throw another murder shot, hoping for the debuff. Opponent does shield it and no debuff again. Opponent now throws an archer and this is too quick to be the stone edge. He throws the rock blast which I managed to survive. Gonna throw one last murder shot hoping for the debuff as this could change the matchup. And I don't get a debuff again. Now it's a race to the finish. I sneak one charm through. He's got a move. Let's see if he's got to the double. I try and get the next charm through but the opponent does over farm perfectly and have to rock blast on his side. And this should take me out which is GG's. I think I really must play that one. Should have maybe gone straight for the wild charge to bring it as low as possible. Uh, as you can see, luck sometimes is not on your side. I think with the debuff would have definitely changed the matchup with the Magna Zone. I must say this team performed quite well. What I had in mind and what it played out is exactly what I thought. We just need to make sure we get the Giratina in the lead and try and make sure that the uh, talent flame does not land on any of the pokemon but if it does we always have the uh, galvantula which can at least try and threaten it if you enjoy the video please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one